Hello, everyone. Welcome to our show today. Today, we have a very special guest, Guy Marson. Of, um, you can tell me what your troop is. What's the troop you're with? Uh, hi, I'm uh, working with Corpus Dance Projects. So okay. it's a company based out of Toronto. Awesome. And I saw some of your guys' work you've done over the years. Uh, we'll get into what you're bringing to Huntsville soon. But I know Les Moutons, I've seen, I saw that at a, at a couple events over the years. Did you ever do any of those ones? Yeah. So I've been working for the company for five years now. Yep. And Les Moutons is the first one I ever did with the company. So we play sheep yeah. um, and there's a shepherd that herds them along. Um, and I play the ram when I do it. Sometimes I play the wolf who comes at the very end of the show as well. Depends on the cast and who's available. That's awesome. That's awesome. Now, these types of performance pieces, um, and we'll talk about La Boule one in a minute, which is the one coming to Huntsville uh, yeah. in September. Um, but, uh, you know, these types of performance pieces, what's so special from your perspective about being part of it? Because they're very public, like anybody can watch them, right? So. Yeah. Well, there are several aspects that I find very interesting, and maybe I can speak to my personal experience with the company, because when I saw them for the first time, it was around 2003, maybe, I was living in Ottawa, studying theatre, and I saw them and I thought it was the show Flock of Flyers, um, another show where basically pilots have to train without planes because of budget cuts. And I saw the show and I thought, this is a funny company. I would love that they do. Then I saw the sheep and I thought, one day I want to work for them. And now I am working for them. So that for me is always magical in a sense that I yeah. get to do what I was dreaming uh, like 20 years ago. Yes. And, um, and now as a performer from this perspective, I find the shows have mostly uh, or very often they're done at like kind of street theater festivals, um, yeah. outdoors which makes the show way more accessible to a lot of people who might not even know about a theater performance happening. So they stumble upon it and it just takes them out of their everyday kind of yeah. life and, and surprises people. Some get it, some don't, but they're always in some way affected by that performance. And I really enjoy seeing that. The interaction with the audience is always very immediate and so close um and it, so that i think i really enjoy that aspect and and the the magic that can happen in this kind of like creative world that we we um yeah or the the, the imagination that we yeah. we get to to kind of create through just these very simple storylines sometimes it's true and and you're right it is simple storylines but when done well yeah they're very impactful I remember uh, I saw Les Moutons here in Huntsville at, at Nuit Blanche North. Mm -hmm. It was here. I, I remember now because after seeing all the pictures and then we were walking and I was like, wow, they're really into their performance. Like everybody was like really super into it where they were, you know, they were the, the sheep, right? <laughs> like, it really, it, it really is like kind of a mindset and, I enjoy watching it and yeah. I enjoy performing it. And there's two different aspects, but what is really nice is, I mean, when I when I see it, it's this moment of like suspension of disbelief. So you're, you're really thinking, oh, wow, it's an animal, it's a sheep. And then yeah. you're like, we're so stupid. It's just a human. And it's so easy to kind <laughs> of like switch back and forth between yeah. seeing an animal and seeing a human being. And as a performer, it's kind of a meditative process because we have all these things that we really, we, like one of my tasks when I was learning to do the show was to just go spend time with sheep. And oh. I was kind of lucky in the sense that I found quite a few sheep that summer and I was, you know, riding along my bike and then just like seeing some on a field and like, okay, I'm going to go and like <laughs> spend time with the sheep and observe and see what they do. And they also have some uh moments that are very human like yes as well so it, it's kind of finding that mix and when i'm performing it then i kind of think okay well i'm in the zone you kind of have to have this weird um um like sight you you focus on because sheep see like 270 de degrees around them okay so you, you kind of have to blur your vision and never focus on one spot because you have to imagine you can see people who are on like your right and left. Everywhere. 
everywhere. So, and that just already creates a very kind of meditative state. And then you're off to go. <laughs> that's, <laughs> yeah. that's so awesome. I love how you said that, like, because you get into it by, you know, observing. Because you're not talking about playing, um, you know, a, a ship's captain or a lawyer or a doctor, right? It's like yeah. you're playing another species. So yeah. you really have to, like, get in there, right? You can't so, even go and interview them and ask them how they feel, what exactly. they think about. What they do. <laughs> so, <laughs> so you focus on, like, the physical aspects of it, like their breathing or their chewing, and then you kind of go from the outside, like, the physical aspect inward, I guess. But, yeah. <laughs> That's so cool. I love it. That's so cool. That I, I And I wanted to ask you about that because I had seen the performance and that, so I was interested just about all that, you know, and I figure if I'm interested, anyone listening or, or reading the article I write as well as the listening to the audio will be interested as well yeah. in that stuff, right? For so, sure. Um, so now let's get into what's coming up in mm -hmm. Huntsville in September and uh, it's La Boule, right? Did yeah, I say that right? <laughs> you totally did. So it's basically the French word for bubble. Yep. Uh, <laughs> La Bulle is a one hour um, dance, theater, mime, clown piece. Um, nice. It's kind of hard to set as one, you know, description because there's so many things that happen. It's also a very install, like a kind of like an installation in its own because it's yes. a bubble tent. So imagine a snow globe in a six meter wide <laughs> version so it's super high super large um and the whole concept started kind of with this idea first there was the tent and then the idea of what's a snow globe yeah. um, like what kind of characters would live in a snow globe how can we make it come to life and then you know the exploration started yeah um and now yeah it's been touring since I think 2021 so two awesome. years and we're on a Canadian tour this summer so we we started in Alberta and then BC and now we're we've been in Ontario for a few weeks we're going to Quebec tomorrow nice. um, for two weeks and coming back then to Ontario Huntsville will be our first state back in Ontario we're excited awesome, awesome. So yeah, that's cool because I saw some of the pictures and stuff, um, and I think there was a little a mini video that uh, that the Huntsman Festival of the Arts showed during their kind of launch event this year, mm -hmm. um, and uh, I was like, this is really cool, like the bubble and you're interacting a bit with the crowd in the sense. Or, now, is there actual direct interaction, or is it just through kind of the perspective of the person living inside the snow globe? Uh, what do you mean a direction like, like the, our direct interaction like do you talk to the audience yeah. so there the, te the there's no text uh the whole show is um kind of danced and mimed and, and you know it's theatrical so in yes. comparison to to like the street theater that we do where sometimes i mean there's always kind of a structure to the pieces but this one is a lot more theatrical in the sense that it has a beginning middle and end nice. um and there the audience sits around the bubble for the whole hour so you know if you were to just get up and, and go you'd miss parts of the show right gotcha. the other shows that we do are possible like, you know it's possible to just walk by and watch five minutes and then go on yes um, so this one is uh yeah the audience sits, sits 360 degrees around the <clears throat> sorry they sit 360 degrees around the bubble yeah and um, so the interaction that happens are kind of built into the structure of the piece. So there's gotcha. the beginning scene is really kind of the first contact and kind of making eye contact with audience members, trying to get them to like me from the get go so that they stick with <laughs> me <at> the end. <laughs> and the whole aspect is also looking at this kind of um because we play between like connection and loneliness um and the way i often kind of describe it is that you know in these days of social media we put a lot of stuff out there where we're happy and you see all the beautiful and and yeah. fun pictures that that we post online but then you know maybe we turn the, the phone off and we're actually quite sad and this loneliness we never see it and so in this bubble the character 
um, gets quite lonely. He's all alone and can never co connect with anyone on the outside because there's always this bubble preventing yeah. that final connection, which would be touch. Um, so it kind of jumps in between both of that. And you're always like, I am always visible. And even if I'm just looking forward, there's always someone who Behind sees you, yeah. <laughs> so it's like you have to be really aware of all of this. Yes. And it, it creates a vulnerability that I think is, is quite, it's harder to attain if you just had like a very frontal stage piece. Gotcha. That's very interesting. I, lo I love how you're like, yeah, it's like your bubble. There's the no touching. And the connection to where our world is in terms of social media is actually quite apt because 100%, that's where we're at, right? Yeah. We, we put this out there, but there's no physical connection. Um, this is what you see, but is it really me? And I love the loneliness piece because there's so many people that can connect to that. Yeah. Right? So... And, you, you know, the show premiered in 2021, which was, you know, just after some of the worst lockdowns we had because of yes. COVID. So it's like there's a lot of people resonate with that as well. And uh, I mean, it's it's all kind of like a thing that evolved by chance, because originally, I think David Danzon, the director of the company, he, his intention was to get people inside the bubble. Um, when he'd first seen that that bubble tent, it was like 2019, I think. And so when he started working on the piece and COVID came, he was like, oh, well, I guess we have to look at something different. And, <laughs> it all, you know, it all happened the way it had to happen, I think. Yeah. Yeah. And what and what's your favorite part personally about uh about doing this performance? Oh man, there are so many good things. And and because, so I, I uh, helped in the development process of, of the piece um, and then David continued working on it and premiered it and I hadn't seen it. So it's basically been two years and then I, I jumped in to replace David for this tour. Yeah. And uh, so I was watching it and the first time I saw it, I had a grin like from beginning to the end like I was there's just so much stuff that happens it's so much fun to see so many props that just yes. kind of appear out of nowhere and uh so as a, as an audience member I was already fascinated and then performing it it's like uh I I'm what have I done now? Like it's uh, eight performances so far that I've done. And every time I discover new things and I'm getting more um, comfortable with the material as well. So nice. it's more and more fun. Um, so, but there's, you know, there are all these different scenes with with wacky costumes. And then, you know, it's a <laughs> matter awesome. of, you know, as soon as I find the technical way of, of dealing with it, because I had this one, you know, I have this one shirt that at a moment turns into a skirt and the way to tie the skirt was like, it just wasn't uh, solid enough or something. And it kept on falling while I was in rehearsal. It happened even in my first performance that it fell and I had to play with it. And so that, those are the small things where I like would worry. Yeah. And now I've, I've developed a kind of like more relaxed uh, attitude toward it. Plus, I've mastered a little bit in how these props work. So yeah. I can discover and have fun in, in other scenes now because yes. I don't have to worry about those. And one that my colleagues tell me, you know, we're, we're touring with four people. We have the mm -hmm. you know, project coordinator and, and two technicians. Yeah. And um, they were saying the other day, oh yeah, the dance scene is getting really good. Like you're really <laughs> feeling your vibe. <laughs> and I noticed that. I love it. Yeah, I had so much fun and I'm kind of like, you know, playing the audience up a little bit and, and yeah. really building that contact. Um, and I don't want to reveal too much. So that's why I'm kind of being a little. No, no, don't reveal know. too much. We want people to come. But no, I love that you're, you know, as you've gone along and you've and, and, and you're putting yourself in the terms of your own personality, in terms of your own kind of the way you're flowing in, like your, your dancing is getting better because now you're more comfortable. It's like, you're bringing yourself to the piece. It's not just here's a piece. It's it's yeah. This is the the piece, but this is me as well doing it, right? Yeah, and I'm lucky in a way because uh, that was a note that David gave me. So you know, he created the piece for himself. Yeah. Uh, and watching it, you know, it's just a you know a person I look up to. I saw his work in the last twenty years, and I always wanted to work for him, right? And now that I am, it was like, ooh, I hope I can do this, right? <laughs> Um, and one of his notes was, you know, just, um, you know, you learn the piece the way it is now, but you're going to have to find a way to make it your own. And you, yes. you and I had that freedom to, 
to go and, and find those little moments still within, you know, the, the kind of guidelines of what this character is. And yeah. as, in a way, it's also very close to me because um, the, the character is based on Pierrot, who's this um, kind of white clown uh, based on Comedia dell'arte. You might know him with the little tear um, yes. swinging on the, on the moon, a bit of a dreamer. Yeah. And um, so there are aspects of, of him, of his, kind of personality that I, I resonate with and also in this um, another note that David had given me is like really focus on the appreciation of the humanity of the audience members so when I'm trying to connect with the people it's like not like oh please please connect with me I don't want to go in that like forcing of the audience to to be with me but it's more just okay how do I kind of be authentically me yes so that the audience can feel like they can be authentically themselves and to build that connection from there. That's awesome. That's awesome. <laughs> it's a lot of work, eh, to get it done. <laughs> it is. It really is. And there's like in this show and this, in any corpus show, the technical elements, they're just so many props and they work in such a way and you have to really be specific. And then David is very musical and, and, and works with rhythm in the music. So you have to like finish this scene on this count. And, you know, <laughs> but sometimes, you know, when you do theater, you get carried away with the emotions and you kind of, yeah. like, oh, whoops, here, I have to really get get to this <laughs> point now because otherwise I miss my cue um so yeah as a performer it's not always the the easiest thing yes. but I'm growing into it so I'm finding that rhythm also even just really fast that's awesome that's awesome well this will you'll be you'll have at least 10 12 shows under your belt before we oh, see you here by the time we are in Huntsville I mean we're doing another five shows in Quebec so yeah. that will be uh by show 14 I think when we're oh in good <laughs> so you'll have your like super groove going right <laughs> i'm gonna be the best i've been so far for huntsville <laughs> <laughs> there you go i love it <laughs> so so Guy, there's only one last thing i'm gonna ask um and uh and then uh and, and i'll make sure the dates and everything are in in mm -hmm. the post so everyone knows what dates to go so because i forget which dates do you remember which dates they are yes, in september i think it's uh september 1st to 3rd okay perfect so september 1st to 3rd and uh, anyone listening can go to the huntsville festival of the arts website it's uh huntsvillefestival.ca and you can get tickets through there um to the show and have some more details and uh there's one last question for you I ask everybody this question that's doing performances whether it's whether it's uh, an artist or a musician or a theater performer like yourself um it's if i'm a stranger and i don't know anything about your show and i look at you and say why should i come what would you say to me i would say just the bubble in itself it's such a magical environment. And because the show is at night, then it's lit up with all kinds of different colored lights. Um, and some lights, you don't see them. They're kind of hidden in the set. So then when they light up, you're like, whoa, okay, that too. <laughs> and everything kind of changes. The atmosphere changes and you get sucked into this you know, magical world. So I think even if you don't like theater, you're going to find something interesting in this piece. Awesome. Awesome. Well, that's great. Well, Guy, thank you so much for sharing some time today. Thank you, Christopher. And uh, hopefully we'll see you in a couple of weeks in September and uh, yeah. enjoying the show. Come by. Come see. Say hi. I will. I will. All right, Guy. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Have a great one. Bye for now. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>